Come on, man. Alright, what's good YouTube? It's Hunter. I'm back with another video. It's not a live stream this time. We got CRL round 11 from Austria. Um, not one of my favorite tracks. It used to be one of my favorite tracks till it became everybody's favorite track. So it's no longer one of my favorite tracks. I honestly do not enjoy racing around this track. A five lapper is cool, but 50 laps is doing too much. It's such a chaotic track it for me it really is just the controller play we have a mix of controller and wheel players in our league so it really it gives a little bit of an advantage to the controller drivers i do think this track is much easier on controller than wheel um in some instances um but nonetheless soft to medium strategy starting in p7 we're not gonna underfuel this race um I really needed to be able to push on the straights. Probably overfueled a little bit too much, but uh, it doesn't turn out to be that big of a deal. Coming into the formation lap, as you guys can see, I'm not lagging. Everything is good. Nobody's bouncing around for me. Um, everything seems good. I'm streaming as well at this point, and my roommates are also on the internet. So it's like my internet was completely okay. My internet was completely fine, but coming just ending the formation lap it something went wrong here the race doesn't want to start and apparently it's because of me are we yeah, how about you thing? check Yo, up, this bro. is very long sir what are we waiting on <laughs> it's you I know. Hunter. what it says hunter it says hunter it's you no way hunter. so as you can see there or as you can hear that is the whole entire league telling me hey it's because of you so we speed through this because yeah they start the race while i'm obviously not there i was the only spinning circle left so we come back and we just we're getting absolutely swallowed we started p7 remember we're about to go p7 down to p9 and then following that we're gonna go down to p10 i did not remember that when you rejoin it gives you those four red lights i honestly thought it would just throw me in and that's kind of why i waited otherwise I could have been in the car at the beginning of that straight. Instead, I chose to go into it at near the end because I was getting absolutely swallowed. Um, it it just put me at a disadvantage, not knowing how much turn or how much to have my wheel lock. So I just didn't even really make that turn. But anyway, we're now in P10. We're behind two medium runners. So knowing that we have to get past these medium runners, we absolutely have to. If we stay behind these medium runners, they're only going to slow us down. We have the pace on them. It's only lap five. The softs still feel good. So right here, after turn three, turn on the ERS. We also get the Durs. We're going to fly past Tito. It's going to be an easy overtake. Done and said. Nothing to be said about it. On to ladies. And this is where things get a little bit more interesting. I'm only seven tenths behind ladies on the mediums. But if you just pay attention to that little in the, in the top left, I'm not really catching him. I'm not really catching him. So ladies did have really decent pace on those mediums. I couldn't really get to that like three tenth uh, window that I needed to be able to really even be close enough to make a pass. So anyway, we get a safety car on lap six or seven, one of the two. And that is going to obviously cause everybody to bunch up at the end of this. So going into, I think we're going to just skip to the end because this is, uh, this is unfortunate. So ladies, not realizing that we are all going so slow, just barrels into the back of Nat, hits him in the gearbox. And that's going to drastically slow us down for the restart. We are going to have such a slow restart because of that. That's just really messed up the entire restart for us three and there's is a bot in front of nat and he just he passes him before the straight or before the finish i mean and obviously you can't pass somebody before the start finish of a safety car restart so he ends up having to give that position back and in turn ends up ruining ladies race ending his race he retires and leaves the session 
So, yeah, we are in P2. I, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know. But we obviously, it's lap 11 now, going into lap 12, and our tires are going to be going off soon. Our mediums are probably at like 50% now. So once we hit that 60% mark, it can get really difficult to manage the rear end, especially on the first turn, the first, the, really the whole track. The, the, it's not an easy track to be running on, on worn softs. But we do get a VSC on lap 12. So this is going to help us out a little bit. Maybe we could extend these softs until lap... Mm, Maybe left 16. I doubt it. But um, yeah, we're just gonna keep we're gonna keep on board for this VSC because obviously you'll notice this is a really good example of how not to take a VSC and how not to really take care of your race because if if I would have just kept this within about a second, a second and a half, and not gunned it right here. I don't know what was going through my head. I must have panicked. Get myself a drive through penalty. And at this point, I was fuming. So we go straight into the pits. Get that over with. And that effectively ends any chance of us getting a podium. Um, we, are, we went from P2 to P10. Um, looking back now, I realize I probably could have waited. And got a gap because it it wouldn't i just i don't know i don't know what i would have been able to do but coming out of the pit lane we are behind just a huge cluster of cars you see the mercedes you see the williams you see a haas in front of them so we are just gonna keep on board because this is where things really do get spicy we have two laps about not even two laps until we are planning to pit for the mediums and finish out our race joe gets a terrible exit out of that turn and he just absolutely on, bolts Whoa, out in front fuck, of me dude? what are you doing yeah yeah are you, you can doing? tell i was absolutely livid at that point if my race wasn't already ruined by my own doing with that drive through it was uh it was definitely ruined now so that really nothing much more happened in the race i go into the pits obviously thinking that i'm gonna get mediums as i i barge as me and tc try to race into the pits um going into the pits knowing all right i'll be on mediums and checking and then realizing no it looks like jeff had other plans he wants us to be on hearts I don't know. I don't think I, I. I don't. I'm not too sure why they put those on. But moving forward, last lap. Silly mistake. I don't know if my steering wheel went dead or what happened there. But just for a second, I couldn't. Ha I didn't have any feeling in my wheel, and I overcorrected, hit the curb, and as you know, that curb is deadly already, and just lost the, the the car completely i ended up getting p10 in that race i could have gotten p7 but it is what it is i uh, i was pretty angry about it last night but obviously i've calmed down about it quite a bit so heading into great britain tomorrow make sure you guys tune in for the stream tune into the channel because we're gonna have more videos more than just f1 we're gonna have some star wars content we're gonna have just a bunch of different games on the channel so just tap in tap in tap in like comment subscribe i appreciate y'all have a lovely day peace